If they're in the right uh, condition, then we will have a better fighting chance to make it uh, in the world uh, again. Uh, sir, how about here in Davos City? Uh, ilang, ilang boxers here? Well, uh, in Davos City, uh, we have, you notice uh, in the, the undercard, the eight, six rounds, they are all from Davos City. So we're trying to get new ones and develop new ones because we will be going back and forth. We will be promoting every region and those who are those who are uh, uh, deserving to be trained in the US. We will do that. Do they have the same benefits like free medical backups and everything? Yes, and on top of that, yeah. By the way, that's that, that's a good point because we're the only promoter in the world issuing insurance for the boxers. Life insurance. Life insurance. Uh, and accident insurance. What price? Uh, it's in the US. Yes, we issue insurance for our boxers for protection. Like how much? And we're the only one doing that. Like how much for boxers? No, it depends. <laughs> Uh, what do you have to say to Rita and Sarupin? Uh, what do you have to say to Rita tomorrow? Do you have anything to say and how confident are you uh, facing each other tomorrow? But, um, it's going to be a good, it's going to be a good fight. I'm excited. Um, I'm very confident um, that I'll be victorious tomorrow. Um, it's, um, it's an honor and a pleasure to uh, share the ring with a with a warrior uh, like Saul, and um, I look forward to a good fight for as long as it lasts. Both we both think that it won't go to the distance, so that should make for a really good fight. So um, I just want to say, wish him the best of luck, and um, I guess nothing else really we can say. Fight time tomorrow, so. Uh, hi, good morning. Uh, my name is Saul Fala. I am Latin champion from Bolivia, South American champion, Latin American champion in the ring WBC for Boxing Council. Uh, tomorrow, uh, knockout. Uh, tomorrow, knockout. Uh, uh, my opponent tomorrow, tomorrow fight, uh, knockout. Yes. He said that he's very happy about it. He said he feel good to be here in Philippines. He prepared himself real good for this fight, and Bruno Jones is going to get knocked out. It is, it is funny, it is funny. Uh, vine aquí a este país, eh, o vine de paseo o de tour. Saludos para toda mi gente linda de Bolivia, de Sudamérica, que me está viendo en vivo en este momento. Gracias a la oportunidad, a la Organización Global de Boxeo, por permitirme venir a disputar un título mundial histórico aquí en Filipinas. El rival ha dicho, ha hablado que me iba a noquear, que me iba a dar una paliza. No necesita buscarme, ya estoy aquí. Y voy a demostrar que tengo mejor estado físico, estoy fuerte y lo voy a noquear. Muy bien. Pero dice que dice que él se prepara bien para este combate. Y venir a este combate, muchas cosas han sido dichas. You know, uh, Rona talked a lot of things like he's going to knock him out, going to get him out in two rounds. So he telling him that he got to stop looking for that now, he's already here. And he's ready to fight tomorrow. Uh, action talk, bullshit walk. Check my resume. Quiero decirte, quiero decirte que tú no has peleado con nadie, yo he peleado con mejores prospectos, mejores clasificados mundiales, he mirado tu récord, no has peleado con nadie, recién vas a pelear con un peleador de mayor. Scared, he's scared. Look at him, he keep talking. I don't know what he said. He keep talking, he's scared. He said he fought better fighting than you. He fought better fighting than you, and he also fought more fight in the heavyweight divisions. This is your first fight in the heavyweight division, and he want to tell you, welcome to the heavyweight division. I love it. Thank you for the welcome. We're going to have a homecoming party. Maybe, maybe <laughs> not. Right? Stop the bus. Stop the plane. Okay. You going back to Bolivia? Where is this? <laughs> okay. Yeah. Uh, Mr. Rodis, sir, who do you think is uh, favored uh, between the two? 
Being that promoter, I want to be neutral. Yes, <laughs> yes. Good answer. But it's for, going to be a good fight. For, for uh, Saul, uh, recently Latino fighter became a great champion, uh, Andy Ruiz Jr. You think, will that inspire you to get this win? This is going to be the winner. Ante todo pronóstico, ante todo pronóstico, eh, él es favorito, lo entiendo, favorito, mi oponente. Hasta ahí está sentido respeto, pero yo le tengo respeto. Andy Ruiz me ha inspirado, eh, me ha inspirado eh, que las cosas se pueden hacer. Y ante todo pronóstico, eh, voy a vencer al oponente americano, es muy fuerte, pero considero que posee las herramientas necesarias para bloquearlo. Estoy inspirado porque recibo el apoyo de mi país. Now, not just because he fight with Andy Ruiz, uh, he beat Joshua. He knows that anything is possible in boxing. Anything can happen. Uh, anything is possible. So, tomorrow he's going to show again that Latino can do it. I agree. In this boxing, anything can. And, uh, you know, I, I, I appreciate Latino boxing. I appreciate Filipino boxing. Anybody who get in the ring and uh, put on some gloves, I respect them as a champion and a warrior because I know it takes a lot to do so. So, um, I mean, it's like I said, it, like I said, it's, the fight is tomorrow. And, uh, you know, I just want him to have that same energy right now that he has, bring that same energy tomorrow. Because, you know, you all will be looking at your faces right now, and it'll be like this. <laughs> you know, that's, that's what's going to happen. So, uh, you know, it's, it's going to be good. I can't wait. I'm excited. So it's just living in the moment right now and uh, just soaking it all in. And I love the vibe. That's all I can say. I love the Philippines. Yes. And, uh, there we go. Question answered, sir.
Yes, sir. Yeah. Yeah. Ronald, Ronald, what round do you think this is finishing? Two. Season. Two. Yeah, just first one just to get a, people their time worth for driving to the venue. They got to drive to the venue and stuff like that. So we let them, let them get seated in. Three minutes is good. You know, get to see the walkout ring entrances. Round two, though, cooking <laughs> the heat up. The heat. Okay. It's going to get real hot in there. It's going to get real hot. There we go. You can't cook with cold grease. Right. You cannot cook chicken with okay. cold grease. Remember that. It's got to be hot. Real hot. What can you say about it? What can you say about the round two? Vengo de una categoría donde he peleado con verdaderos gladiadores. No debe, no debe de hacerme daño. No, no, es, no es cosa del otro mundo. Nada que yo ya no hubiera vivido. He peleado en Venezuela, en Arriba, Australia, Nueva Zelanda, Brasil, Argentina. Ahora he hecho en Alemania, en Europa, en Asia. Ahora estoy en Asia. No es cosa del otro mundo. Y mañana vamos a darle la bienvenida al peso completo. Si es fuerte, los primeros rounds vamos a aguantar la reversa. Que él tiene su estrategia. Lo vamos a, a cansar de afuera. A aguantar la presión. Y si nos viene a pagar al choque, pues le creamos al pobre Tiger. Y, y vamos a ver quién se cae primero. Veremos quién mañana es el mejor hombre. A golpe por golpe, palo y por palo. Y de qué cuero sale más correa. Dice que él puede estar bien. El fight puede estar bien en el segundo round. Pero él va a estar mirando. Él va a estar mirando. Así es como el fight. El fight es grande. Pero ahora, él va a tomar el siguiente round. Él va a tomar el siguiente round. Él va a tomar el siguiente round. Because he wanted punishing. Uh -huh. He wanted punishing. And show him that God doesn't right. make no difference. Mm -hmm. So when you get in the ring and fight, that's all what we people wanted to see, and that's where you see the real fighters. So don't give me nothing. So we will see tomorrow what happened. And you guys, okay, you luck. guys gonna ask him tomorrow. Good luck. You're gonna ask him tomorrow what happened with the second round. And he will know what to say. Okay, I would like to cut it first. I would like to acknowledge the president of our GAP Commissioner, Mr. Marcos and Okay, sir, yes. Question. Uh, this goes to Ronald, Saul, and uh, the promoter, Ray. Sir Ray. Uh, this is basically the second time in the history of the Philippines that will be. Yeah, heavyweight championship. Thriller in Manila was the first. Three in the vow, how does it feel to be part of history of boxing in the Philippines and in the world? Wanna go first? This is this is historic, you know. Um, it feels really good to even be mentioned in the same breath as Thriller in Manila. Such an epic battle. You know, my good my good mentor, Don King, you know, he promoted that fight. You know, the, the Ali family who, who moved me to Las Vegas from zero to my heart, you know, rest in peace, Muhammad Ali. Um, it's gonna be a big, it's that, it's, you know, it's just to even be mentioned in the same breath is an honor. And I think, you know, all of us that sit up here should share that same thing to even, like I said, to even be mentioned in the same breath as Thriller in Manila is definitely an honor. And uh, I'm just, I'm just gracious and I thank God for this opportunity and um, I look forward to seizing the moment. So? Para mí es un honor estar aquí en Filipinas, es un gran honor estar en este prestigioso país y es un privilegio venir a representar a mi país Bolivia, al prestigioso país Filipinas, venir a disputar un campeonato mundial que por tercera vez se realiza en este país, un, un título del mundo de la, de, 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 en este país. Es un honor representar a Bolivia, a mi gente, y voy a dar lo mejor por hacer flamear mi bandera con orgullo, con dignidad. Y, y, y que se sientan orgullosos de mí, que un boliviano vino que yo muchos kilómetros a este país. Agradezco mucho a la Organización Global de Boceo, a, a la oportunidad por permitirme estar en este país. Gracias a ustedes, las atenciones que he recibido, bárbaras de este país me han tratado muy bien y me siento como en casa y mañana les voy a dar una gran pelea que gane el mejor. Y gracias, al igual que el alcalde, por, la, por las atenciones. Los quiero mucho. Es un honor para estar aquí en este gran evento. Like Trila and Manila. And uh, he also want to send the, thanks to the organization for the opportunity, the promoter for the opportunity, and Ron Johnson for the opportunity. And for him, uh, he's, it's a big opportunity to come here from Bolivia and have the, the chance to, to show his skill in a, in a fight like this. And uh, he just can't wait until tomorrow. And uh, thanks everybody for, for the opportunity. Thank you.
Sorry? Busy? Um, actually, I'm looking for the, uh, the text messages. Uh, Don King uh, was uh, with my son uh, talking uh, yesterday, and uh, he said that if things go right, and uh, he's planning to be Don King said if we can come up with uh, $3 million, then we will have Lila uh, Manila 2 sometime next year, March. Right. So that's the, uh, that's the promise of Don King. So any winner probably, winner of the fight, will, uh, will have the Lila Manila 2 sometime uh, March next year. Sorry, you've been a boxing promoter in the past. And this is a re-entry into boxing again promotion in the Philippines. This is a big re-entry. How do you plan to follow this up? Would this be an bi even bigger fight? What's the plan for GBO and Red Boxing promotion in the Philippines? Yeah, first of all, I'm, I'm very thankful with the Global Boxing Organization for giving us Filipinos the opportunity to, to fight for the championship. Now, uh, this uh, fight in the is just the launching. Then after this, uh, we will have July in Mandaluyong, then we will have Bacoor, then we will have probably in Pangasinan, then we are planning also to have uh, to have one in Baguio, then September again in Davao, then uh, November in in, uh, in General Santo City. You see, it's really a program. That's why we call it Caravan. In search for new hero. As I told you earlier, uh, we're looking for new champions. Uh, Pacquiao is on the way out, then we're trying to develop new ones. So we can go on if uh, the people would support us and uh, uh, we have uh, support from the government, from the public, and from everybody. Because our intention is for, for Filipinos to really uh, uh, become US-based Filipino boxers. Because the training in the US is really different. We have conditioning trainer, we have emotional and psychological uh, training, and you know, getting there is hard before. But with the with the with the involvement of GBO, it would be easier for us. It becomes their portal uh, to get a US visa, and they will be there to stay for as long as they're making good until they become. Uh, they will be given a chance to fight for the world title. And this is uh, open to all Filipino fighters. Yes. And uh, how will they get in touch with you if they want to be a part of this program? Well, uh, that's why we'll be going all over the world, uh, all over the Philippines to look for, for uh, uh, fighters. The, the advantage we have is we are already obliged to promote every month. The only problem is we're promoting, uh, you know, women, uh, female boxers who, who are not Filipinos. We're promoting. Uh, Latinos and uh, German, uh, European, but no Filipinos yet. But soon, uh, as we have the Filipinos, we'll be focusing our our uh, promotion uh, with more Filipino fighters. Then, you know, the first priority to fight. Okay. Thank you. Questions from the one more question. I will ask one question for both Saul and Ron. Why do you think you will win this fight? Well, I think I'm going to be able to do it. 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 I'm going to be Soy un legítimo Sierra Way. Dice que ya por el tiempo, aquí es el legítimo ejemplo. Aquí hay otros mejores peleadores. So, he said that everything is up his way to win the fight more. And he will win. I mean, my, my answer is short and simple. I didn't come this far to lose. I didn't get on the plane for 25 miles. I couldn't stay at home for that. So, you know, I'm here to win. And uh, my, my skill set, I mean, hand speed, quickness, defense. I mean, I just, I'm an all-around better fighter. So he's right. I, he hasn't seen me. 
he hasn't seen a fighter like me. You know, he's fought a lot of big heavyweights and stuff like that. But I'm real slippery, and he won't see the shots coming. He won't see the punches coming. And, you know, and um, it's gonna be a good fight. I mean, I'm excited, but you know, I have a different type of determination. So it's, um, I just, I'm, I think differently. Like I said, I didn't come this far to take no for an answer. So. You're good. Thank you so much. There you go. That's the press conference of the Thrilla in the Val, promoted by Red Boxing International and uh, sanctioned by the Games and Amusement Board of the Philippines and the uh, Global Boxing Organization. And Ray Rod is the promoter, Thrilla in the Val. And of course, we got Ronald, Ron Johnson and Saul Farah, the main eventer for tomorrow night. See you around. <laughs>